Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, we're going to answer a question that Miki Kashima has, and here she says, Do you have a tutorial on an item giving random items, like an herb packet that gives you three or so random herbs? And now I do have uh, a few tutorials on how to make random stuff. Most of them are inside of a one hour video for Let's Make a Game, so I thought I'd make a very short video just so that you can see how to do this without having to find it in a one hour video time span. So the first thing you want to do is go to your database and you're going to go and create a common event. It doesn't matter what you call it, call it whatever you like. Uh, at the top you might want to put a comment just so that the player, so when you come back here you'll know what it's for. This is for the tier one weapon. So I've made a bronze weapon drop and inside this box, this common event, uh, that's going to be called when you use an item. It's going to roll a random number. It's going to show an animation, and then it's going to pick one of uh, uh, one of those numbers. So you, first thing you decide is how many items are you going to have it drop. In this case, I have nine items. So we're going to right-click, insert new, uh, control variable. We're going to create a new variable, call it whatever you want, but something that you can remember. We're going to set it to a random number between 1 and the number of items you want this to randomly distribute. So in this case, 1 to 9. Underneath that, you can add flavor, uh, you know, sound effects, animation, whatever you want. And underneath that, we're going to do a conditional statement. So right-click, insert new conditional branch. Inside that conditional branch, you're going to select a variable. And then select that same variable that you just created and rolled into a random number. And then make the conditions equal to. Now it can't be greater than or equal to. It has to or less than or equal to. It's got to be equal to if you want to do it this way. Uh, you can use else branches if you want to do greater than and all that. But just do it this way. It'll be very simple. So if this variable equals to one, do this. No else branch. Inside here, you're gonna change the item that give them the the item or weapon or armor that you want. So that's right here under party on tab one. And then you can show a text so the player knows what item they got. Um, you can play another sound effect if you want, but you're already getting a sound effect at the beginning, animation at the beginning, so you don't have to put this animation in every conditional statement. Put it at the top or the bottom, and it should work fine. So the player gets this item, and then we're gonna that's going to be the end of the conditional statement. Underneath that, you basically just copy this, paste it underneath, change the variable, uh, the conditional statement, so that the variable is now looking for number two and then change the item it gives, change the text, copy paste that, change so that the conditional statement is looking for a variable of, if the variable has the value of three, so forth and so on until you have all of the items you want it to possibly give, and that's basically it for the common event. Let's go to our items, we're gonna find uh, the random box or bag of herbs that you're looking for, so inside this, uh, this item we wanna make the scope of none, Consumable, yes. And occasion will be menu screen, unless you want them to be able to use it in battle, then you can say any or battle screen. It's up to you right here. The other stuff doesn't matter, but what does matter is the effects. So we're going to right click in, inside of the effects, go to other, go down to common event, select the common event that we just created, and uh, that's basically it. We hit apply, we hit OK, we save our game, and you can award that item however you want in game. I put it in a box down here. So let's take a look at that. Actually, let's uh, edit this super quick. Instead of just giving one, I'm going to go give us five. That way we can see that it's uh, going to give us randomly different stuff. So we have possibly nine different drops, and it could be any of those nine drops. We got our weapon box. Go to our items. Bronze weapon box. Use our bronze weapon box. Shows an animation, shows the text. We got a bronze sword. It actually gave us that bronze sword. Let's go ahead and use it a few more times. Bronze dagger. Bronze katana. A bronze axe. And finally, a bronze whip. So we got random items from the same item. So hopefully this helps you. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, please give it a like. A thumbs up is really appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.